We are here with the one and only, one of my favorite people on the planet, Miss Roxy Andrews. Hi. How are you? Oh my God, I'm so happy. Oh my God, I couldn't be prouder of myself. I'm so excited to have made the top four. A lot of the girls have come around this time and they're like focused. They, they learned what they needed to learn. They're open and I feel like I'm still working on me. Do you? What about you are you still working on? You mean um, coming to terms with everything that happened as a kid and moving yeah, forward? Yeah, my, my personal life, my drag life, my, you know, relationship-wise, like, I, I'm still trying to find where I belong. Mm. And I don't think my mindset was correct. The first time. The first time. And coming into this, I'm still working. I'm still working on me where some of these girls are just like, this just is me, I live, you know, there's just that confidence, it helps you go that, that distance, and I think I was holding back just a little bit. Well, I think everybody's got a different journey, yeah. and season five was just the beginning of your journey. You went through a lot. You had this little kind of um, pageant girl technique, which backfired, mm -hmm. but I don't blame you for trying it. People, when they feel like they're in a corner, and they see the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel slipping, mm -hmm. they lash out. It's like an asp or you know, a cobra being backed into a corner and all they know to do is lash out. Yeah. And I think that's where it came from. And I, I know you and I know that you are the most loving, yeah. adorable, sweet person. And you saw it as a technique and a tactic mm -hmm. versus what you really felt. Yeah, because it was like in season five, I was like, well, bitch, they're, they're funnier than me. They're funnier, they're wittier, the judges are always laughing at all their stuff and they're not laughing at you. So you obviously can't compete with them in that aspect, so what can you do? And it was that pageant girl that's like, well, I'm gonna try and throw them off their game. Yeah. And, you know, get in their mind so that they can perform at their best. I really wanted to go in like I did this time and I wanted to have fun, I wanted to make fun of myself and not take drag so serious. Was it a totally different uh, experience? So different, like night and day. Because you allowed yourself to have fun I allow myself to have fun. We're still in competition mode. You know, being on the bottom so many times this time around, I was like, I'm going back in here, I'm gonna kick ass. Yeah. I'm win, I'm gonna Which the bottom's not the bottom, it's just not the top. Right. Which is very bizarre. I think all of you came to the point of um, a big kind of uprising in your mm -hmm. in your evolution of your character, yeah. um, both in drag and out of drag. And I have to tell you, even though you may have you know stumbled a bit with some of the challenges, you never faltered, not once would look and that's your claim to fame so you could take pride in that and also may, though you may have stumbled you didn't fail you challenged yourself I thought about that last night I was like going through the whole season I don't think anybody got some of the critiques that they get on a regular season I knew it was gonna be hard because we're gonna be looked at like we start here yeah and we're all stars now so we're gonna start here and like you said that day I know we're telling you guys that this is fine because we love you, but it's not okay because we're on All Stars and we're nitpicking, so we have to take those little things into accountability. And that was my whole point. I was like, finally, somebody's saying it. Because it's true. Because week was like, we love you though, it's okay. No. And then all of a sudden you snapped and said that, and I was like, well, f finally, somebody's yeah. gonna call it out there because you do love us for certain reasons. And you know, there comes a time where you're splitting hairs. This is splitting hairs. We are going in. If you can't take it, then why are you here? I am so proud of you. You made your House of Andrews name very proud. I can tell you this and, and say it because I know it. Continued success on your journey. It's gonna be a really good one. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love you. I love you. Congrats, baby. Thank you, boo. There you go. Hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.